So hey guys and welcome back to another Access Energy 2 video and in today's video I'm back doing another interview and I'm here with Boo Reynolds. Boo, how are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad mate, thank you yourself. I'm great, thank you very much for doing this interview mate. That's alright, not a problem at all, not a problem at all. Great, okay, well am I right in saying you're a middleweight, you're 21 and you're one oh and one Yes, yeah, yeah, correct. All right, great. Okay, well, if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, starting off with a question which I always like to start off with. Why did you start boxing? Uh, right, so not, not a long story, but I used to sort of go out a lot and a mm. uh, bit of aggro. Mm. Uh, not like bad, but I... Just sort of enjoyed it to an extent. Yeah. And I was getting myself in a little bit of little bit of trouble. Um, so I started boxing, only locally, sort of where I lived. And then um, I went from being sort of just doing like white collars and exhibitions and then sort of, start, sort of started getting a little bit better and then went to a professional gym and then just sort of went from there really. Great, yeah, yeah, that's a, a a similar story to a few people where it's just like they enjoy the, the whole fighting aspect but obviously they can't really do that just out in the streets so they find a, a more appropriate way to doing it and end up going down that road. Yeah, yeah, a lot of boxers do, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great thing to do, you know what I mean, if you can do it, why not, and earn mm -hmm. yourself a bit of money and keep it, keep it in the ring behind the ropes. Mm -hmm, definitely and so you spoke about how you had a, a few white collar fights and a few exhibition fights do you remember what happened in your first fight um yeah my first fight funny enough i uh i was i just joined this gym in where and uh, at a time i thought i was sort of half decent but uh i wasn't really right. but i I was put up against the best boy in the gym. Mm -hmm. It was only like an exhibition, but I was all over it. I, like, I was buzzing, I trained for it like as much as I thought I, I was enough. And then uh, I had a fight. It was only an exhibition. There was no winner, but to be fair, we had a proper like hammer and tongs war. Mm -hmm. But that was good. It was good. Loads, loads of my friends in that came. Yeah, it was that was that was the start, and that's where I, I never looked back. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, you you had spoke about how you had the exhibitions and the white collar, and so I wasn't sure if you did go down the amateur route. But if you did, what was your biggest achievement from the amateurs? I didn't achieve nothing in the amateurs. Right. Okay. I, I I did a few, but I never really went the amateur route. Mm -hmm. Um, I sort of jumped to that. I mean, I did a, I had a few, but nothing like nothing major. I only I only sort of I. To be fair, when I sort of hit eighteen, I got I got hold of Rod Rod mm -hmm. Julian, and we sort of skipped we skipped the amateur route because we sort of turned we sort of turned over in the in the sort of, in the COVID um, in in that climate. So rather than being held up as like even though we was then, we sort of decided just to skip that and turn pro. Mm -hmm. So I think that was the best route for me. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yes. I've seen a, a few people that kind of went down that road relatively relatively quick, quickly in a way just because it suits their style and the way that they fight. And so you, you've gone down that road and you've you managed to get a victory on your debut. And I was wondering how how much of a, I suppose, a relief in a way was it to win on your professional debut? Yeah, it was. It was a big relief. But we had been training for God knows how long. And, it, you know, we... We were training for, 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 for a long, long time. Um, so it was like, it was almost, it was not an option to lose, if you see what I mean. We yeah. trained so, worked so hard for it, so it was not an option to, to, to have a loss on my first fight, see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get you. So you, you have unfortunately then suffered a, a draw, but I, I was wondering, are you going into a straight rematch or are you just moving on from that fight? Uh, I did ask for the rematch. Mm -hmm. I said hey, that I wanted the rematch, but um, my coach said, "Like swear, like you don't need it. It's not going to benefit nothing." Mm -hmm. Well, I did want the rematch badly, but 
at the end of the day, it, it, I, I just didn't perform. That was it. That wasn't me better than that. And I know a lot of people know I'm better than that. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, that's like, that's why I'm a novice. I'm learning on the job, so that's what it's all about. I'll, I'll take the pluses from you know whatever, however it came. You know that, mm. that's what we'll, we'll just move forward. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you, I get you. And I mean, when you people might say like, oh, you're fighting these people that, that people's never heard of, but it's it's these startup people which sometimes can be some of the toughest fights because they they know the game well and they are going in there maybe not to get a win but maybe to just not lose and sometimes that can that can lead to results like this and it's it's good that you're you're keeping a kind of clear mind in a way and you are just moving on and keeping a keeping a clean slate yeah yeah sure that that you could you could dwell on you could take a lot of negatives from it but i probably did more in four rounds than some boys have done over eight to ten rounds. You see what I mean? I, yeah, I got yeah. put down second. I nearly stopped him in the third. I cut my eye open in the third. I nearly stopped him in the fourth. So, to get knocked down so early in my career and to get back up and to finish the fight is is, is an achievement in itself. So, that that's how I look at it. I've just got to take take the pluses from from that from that fight and, and then just move forward. I will never box like that ever again. So it's just it's it, it's you just got to take the positives out of it, really. Mm -hmm, definitely. And so you've you spoke about how you you're gonna be you're not gonna be fighting like that again. And I was that kind of leads me on to the next thing of when will you be fighting again? Where do you have a possible date yet? Uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I probably I'm not sure if I'm meant to say what I'm going to say because I don't really care. But right. uh, I'm, it's been put out there. I'm supposed to be fighting Tommy Jacobs mm -hmm. uh, on the fourth of November. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know who he is, but he actually fought one of my one of my teammates uh, back on the show that I fought on my debut. Right. Um, he I think he called. I think he mentioned my name mm -hmm. to one of the. Um, must have saw, seen my last performance and thought he fancies his chances. So that that's been put in the woodworks, and I've accepted it. And I believe it's November the fourth. So yeah, but I'm not 100 percent yet. I'm not 100. I, I'm, I'm I've took and taken the fight, but I'm not 100 percent on. You know, it's still November. It's still a little couple of months away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, I love a, I love a little exclusive on the channel, and thank you very much for giving that information. And so, I imagine it, when you when this fight does uh, officially become a thing, you'll be wanting to sell tickets for that. And I was wondering, why should people come and watch you? What makes you different? Um, what make? No, not not like not blowing my own trumpet, but I won't. I, really, I'm a boxer. I'm a boxer, but I can fight. I, I can have a fight. So mm -hmm. I, I I'll entertain. But then in my first fight, I stopped him in the fourth round. And, and had people on their toes. And then in the second fight, obviously, it was what it was. But it was still a good fight for, for people in the crowd. So maybe not for my friends and family, but for people just to watch. It was yeah. it was the proper war. And that's what I do. I just try and impress. I don't turn up and try and, and try and be boring. I try and show a little bit of what, what I can do and, and, and put a bit of excitement on for people. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely, and so that is a uh, definitely something which I'm sure will entice more fans as as you get bigger and bigger in the sport. And speaking of getting bigger in the sport, uh, I always like to ask, how far do you believe you can go in the sport? Um, I don't really, I don't necessarily think like that. I, I, I sort of take each day as it comes. I wanna, mm. firstly, I wanna sort of get some more fights under my belt, and then. And then push for a southern area, which mm -hmm. I believe I'm more than capable of winning. And then push on to an English in 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 time to come, and then just go from there. But, I mean, they're they're two achievements that I think I can definitely sort of achieve. Um, and then and then move on move on from there and see. If, but I'm still young. I'm still 21, so I've got a long long time and a, and a lot of training to do yet. Mm -hmm, definitely, and so. 
I always uh, also like to ask this question, which is a little bit of a, a little bit of a fun question. Uh, you're in a you're in a good division in the middleweight division. Obviously, you're young and you're right at the start of your career. But do you think you could give me a a possible dream opponent? There, just a fighter that's probably at quite a high level that you just love to maybe fight one day. Well, at my weight, yes. Uh, I'll be totally honest. I'd fight anyone. At yeah. my weight, no, that's good. Uh, because I just like I, I say it in the gym all the time. I'd get in the ring with Canelo, Canelo if I could, just because it. I just even though I'd get punched all around the ring. I'd still do it, just because it. But just because he he, he is who he is, and I, I wouldn't mind. I just I don't mind getting a clump. I just I'd fight anyone. I'd mm. fight anyone. No, that's that's a great mindset, and it shows that you're not a you're not gonna pick and choose your fights. That you will just go in with anybody, and you don't care. Yeah, no. I, 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 like I said to my coach, I don't really want to be fighting journeyman. If I'm really honest, like I have to, yeah, because build build my uh, record. But this fight that I could possibly have is a fifty fifty. Yeah, he offered it to me. I snapped his arm off and said, "Look, let's do it." Because I, I don't. I want fifty fifty fights. So that's 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 a fight. You see what I mean? It's mm. not not a journeyman. It's it's a fight, and we're both coming to do one thing, and that's to win. Definitely, yes, I, I completely agree with you and see where you're coming from. And so, uh, you've you've done this interview. Thank you very much for doing it. And I'll leave it with this final question, which I always like to ask, and that is, would you like to shout anything out? Would I like to shout anything out? Uh, yeah, obviously, big up uh, RJ's gym, all my teammates. Um, obviously, Jordan, Jordan uh, Dujon, Billy Underwood, Sam Gilly. Um, We've got Ben Jones, Ryan, uh, we've got new um, Louis, Louis Horn in there. We've we got all the boys, we've all got fights coming up pretty pretty soon, I think. So, uh, yeah, if you keep an eye on it, you'll see them all up, up in your call pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Great, yes. Billy and uh, Dijon, uh, Jordan uh, are two fighters which we've had on the channel who are who are great guys and you are amongst them. It's a seemingly great gym and I'm sure the whole gym will be a force to be reckoned with soon come and so maybe in a few years when you are fighting for these belts we can to come back and do a return interview yeah 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 my pleasure yeah please do please do great okay well if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed please do so like if you do indeed like video and thanks for watching